Hello, Yulia. Hello, Joanna. And welcome, everyone. My name is Joanna Sima, and I'm an external hypnosis operator and student of the Calogero Grifasi Academy. My colleague Yulia here is a telepathic support of the Calogero Grifasi method. Today, we are participating together in the investigative cycle number 253, the first protocol. The protocol that we are going to do is defined mixed, composed of two parts. The first part of the protocol is defined as fixed and composed of questions that we cannot modify or deepen. As the second part is the part that is defined as the free exploration, uh, where we can deepen and um, go into more details about the answers that Yulia gave in the first part. You can find my contact details in the description box below for those who would want to contact me for a personal session. Julia, you can get as comfortable as you want. Okay. Very well. And let's do three breaths together to synchronize with each other and to start feeling more and more relaxed. Now I will slowly count from five to one as your body slowly and deeply relaxes. Five. Focus your attention on your breathing. See and feel the circuit of the air entering through your nostrils, going into your lungs, giving you a sense of deep calm and relaxation. And then with each exhale, your mind clears. For Your body is becoming heavier and heavier. Starting with the top of your feet, your muscles relax and all tension disappears. While this feeling is moving up through your body, to your legs, to your back, your chest, your arms, your neck, your face and your head. Three. Every sound, every movement you will hear from the outside is making you 
relax deeper. Two. Continue to follow your breath with each inhale and exhale your mind clears and you begin to look within yourself. Wow. Very good. And now, from this space that is yours, from this state of deep relaxation, you begin to make contact with the subtle environment. When I will be counting from one to three, you will connect with the missile attack on Israel from October 1st, 2024. Observe it and describe it in relation to the etheric plane. One, two, three. So the moment you mentioned the missile attack, it just came out the word America. And on the esoteric part, What do you perceive? Can you repeat the question again, please? Yes. Connect with the missile attack on Israel from October 1st, 2024. Observe it and describe it in relation to the etheric plane. I this saw the missile coming into Israel. It came that it was sent from the States. Mm -hmm. um, Whatever they say that it came from from Lebanon, actually it came from the States. Good. And um, when it hit, mm, Israel, it was like a big cloud of dust of um, mm -hmm. it's almost like the atomic bomb bomb uh, in Hiroshima. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Lebanon, Iran, and Israel. Observe them in relation to the ongoing geopolitical plan and tell me what you perceive. Uh, it came that this country, um, Lebanon, Israel, 
Iran, they are in an agreement. And also there are um, two more countries in this agreement. Okay, in the States and Brazil. Mm -hmm. They they have this agreement to create uh, kind of this chaos, but it's not uh, it's not official. It's um, in the media. This is not shown. Mm -hmm. It's a secret agreement. Okay. Good. Behind the scenes, yeah. Now look for all the information that hasn't been disclosed in mass media but is directly related to the attack on Israel. The civilians and the, um, the soldiers, um, uh, whatever is shown in the media, it's not the the right number of the of, um, deaths, but not only deaths, the um, injured. Uh, casualty of this so-called war. Mm -hmm. uh, it came that kind of 50-50 between civilians and uh, soldiers in the army. The army and uh, Israel uh, as like s close 50-50 like ca casualties. <laughs> um, Anything as else? I said, yeah. yeah, as I said, the media doesn't uh, doesn't show the real number. I perceive that it shows less than actually what's the truth. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, instead of like um, pumping up numbers, they are uh, uh, showing us less. Okay. okay. Anything else? That's it for now. Good. Tehran media confirms that the Iranian president, Ebrahim Raisi, died in a helicopter accident on the 19th of May, 2024. Go back in time and describe what happened. The media is saying that he died, uh, but actually he didn't die. Um, um, it shows that the helicopter was flying and then uh, uh, at a certain point in time, uh, the helicopter is crashing. Uh, but it's, it's it's CGI. Whatever it's on the TV, the screens, it's um, it shows the CGI like the um, helicopter crashing and 
bursting into flames. Mm -hmm. um, it came kind of like a video game, how they make it uh, look real. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Okay. Now observe what you previously described in relation to the metaphysical level only and tell me what you perceive or visualize. I can see um, there um, reptilians and our horns involved in this. Um, the agreement um, made between these countries, um, whoever were the, the leaders in this agreement, uh, they are behind them, they are those reptilians and Arhons kind of um, not guiding them, it's a uh, controlling, yeah, kind of controlling, manipulating them. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, because uh, why are this involve is just to keep the the vibration of the planet low. So it's all um, it's working all together. Okay. Good. Do you perceive anything else? That's it for now. Good. Compare from the esoteric point of view the death of Iranian President Raisi with the current attack on Israel and at three, tell me what you perceive. One, two, three. Um, uh, it's connected uh this president oh, looks like it was kind of against the agreement they made uh, against this uh, plan of ongoing war of fear and terror and uh, and this missile attack on Israel is just uh, to continue on people's uh, uh, range kind of against Israel that uh, kind of justice has been done. Um, mm -hmm. Just to keep people uh, uh, mad and furious and uh, uh, about all this happening, uh, the atrocities are happening, and just to keep them in that uh, either uh, revenge mode, uh, fear mode, and the low vibration to keep them all in that uh, the low vibration mode. Mm -hmm. Either if they are, uh, if people are not in a fear, uh, it's better for them to be in that range mode. Still, mm -hmm. you know, vibrating that low vibration mm -hmm. that they need for angry. The, the anger, yes. Mm -hmm. 
So if it's yeah, not yeah. fear, mm -hmm. is anger. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What are the future implications of the attack on Israel from first of October 2024? Um, just to 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 cut people's hope that this war is ever gonna end. Uh, it's ever gonna stop. Mm. Just to leave people out of hope that still ongoing back and forth. All this war that is um, actually it's um, it's for nothing. But just to keep the the, the sense of uh, of uh, there is no peace. There is war. The word. So what? What are you gonna do? What was gonna happen? And all that worried state. Mm -hmm. so to keep on going, uh, always they show something uh, like the president died, then the missile attack, then what's next? Mm -hmm. uh, now hurricanes, uh, soon uh, uh, some earthquakes, uh, just to keep on keeping on the state of uh, of uncertainty and fear and doubt and everything comes in as a package. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Now we are going to continue with the free exploratory part. And I want you to go in the first question when you saw the missile attack and you mentioned that it did like a big cloud of dust over Israel. Observe this cloud. Is it physical? Is it esoteric? Uh, uh, looks like it both ways. There is some mm -hmm. physical. Um, looks like uh, the dust is created from different missiles. Yes. Uh, and different parts. Um, it looks like uh, kind of all Israel kind of was, you know, attacked and then uh, in the esoteric part it's this dark cloud above the country. Observe this esoteric dark cloud above the country. And tell me, what is it? Is um, is created to to block the sun, to block the energy. Um, you cannot see the physical eyes. Um, so people, they won't be able to charge from the sun and um, uh, kind of get their hopes back. Mm -hmm. And to keep them in that uh, terror, fear, the terror, more than terror than fear. It's yeah. Like stronger than fear, it's terror, like uh, f um, the terror of uh, losing their lives. Fear of death. The fear of death, yes. Mm -hmm. Which is mostly used for, you know, humanity. Yes. When was this cloud created? this black cloud? Mm. It came that it's kind of started uh, two, three years ago. When <clears throat> 
when Israel, when the citizens of Israel, they were like kind of forced to do things against their free will. Mm hmm. And to keep them and that. Um, um, lost connection with that their higher selves and kind of the nature with the nature too just to keep them disconnected from their uh, subliminal part parts from from the sun from the source from 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 hope mm -hmm. Are there any, do you perceive any, let's say, entities in that cloud? Um, it came that the Arhons are the main um, the main the main brain the main um, uh, kind of the captains yeah of this uh, but the, rep the reptilian the reptiloids are like uh, creating all this uh, Making this cloud happening with uh, with the um, they are using sounds, frequency sounds, uh, to lower vibration and are people aware of this of these sounds? Mm, no, no. Um, it looks like they are getting those sounds during sleep. Oh. Uh, during sleep, they are not uh, so aware of what's going on, so they are a little bit more open. And um, uh, it's almost, um, it sounds like that, uh, uh, Kind of the white no no uh, what no what white noise when yeah. you hear when you have that sound in your ear like you know sometimes yeah. you have that sound in your ear it's kind of the sound is kind of programming their um, minds subliminal part minds mm -hmm. yeah it's all the subliminal part connected to their minds mm -hmm. to keep it in both. Keep it uh, physical on the mind and to keep it in uh, esoteric with the subliminal part or like to keep them uh, on that uh, vibration they want to create. Is this type of uh, dark cloud only over Israel? It looks like it's a big one over Israel, but um, there are some little ones. Kind of all over the planets, mostly on this um, on the countries that are involved in what's going on, uh, officially and non-officially. Um, okay. Can you describe this? So, where are the smaller clouds? What do you perceive? The smaller clouds... Um, uh, I can see some medium ones and some smaller ones. Okay, the medium ones. The medium ones, uh, it came, it came, uh, England, United mm -hmm. States, Lebanon, 
Brazil. Portugal and Germany. What do these countries have in common? Why is the medium they're, cloud? Uh, they're strong economically. They, uh, mm, they have power. Um, they have the they have power compared with other countries. Mm -hmm. um, and they have to keep be kept a little bit under control. By who? Um, Who is keeping them under control? Um, it still came to me the the Archons with the reptilians. Okay, so the same is the in the, like in the energetic part. Yes, you mentioned the USA and uh, Brazil two times now. So let's go to the part where you talked about this agreement, this agreement between Lebanon, Iran and Israel. And you said two more countries in this agreement, states and Brazil, or in disagreement, states and Brazil, because I didn't really get that. Came that they are in agreement. Uh, in the same agreement. Uh, uh, no, what also came that if they cannot keep this war going. The, um, they keep the money ruling on creating all this uh, ammunition and technology on these planes and uh, uh, just to keep the the money rolling because from everywhere there are uh, uh, big benefits. Mm -hmm. Okay. You mentioned that this agreement is mainly to create chaos and that's a secret agreement, that there is a secret agreement. What is this secret agreement? Mm. Mm, is to keep this chaos going, so... Uh, whatever they are planning behind to do, they won't be observed. Because everybody will be focused on the, what's going on on TV. On mm -hmm. so, so about the them, media, yeah. They're yeah. distracted because uh, also uh, the elections are coming. So just to keep them people distracted from being more focused on who they will choose and who they will vote and. Uh, yeah, to keep them focused on this instead of uh, focusing their lives, everyday lives. Um, yeah. Are there, because you, you mentioned the votes, so I'm wondering, are there any candidates that are free, that are not part of agreements? You don't have to say names, just tell me if you see, mm. if you perceive something about this question, any information. There are some free ones, but they are very uh, bombarded. They are very kind of, uh, uh, 
uh, kind harassed. Of try to, uh, yeah, they try to kind of um, maybe scare them and keep them not in control, but just to um, not use their their power of uh, I mean their truths to mm -hmm. to get people to vote for them. Uh, yeah, this, they are um, almost. It looks like uh, the media is showing those candidates. They are um, uh, they have the script that they have to promote instead of yes. the other ones who are like uh, not and the disagreements. Mm -hmm. So the media is trashing the free ones. Oh yeah, the media is just is getting the script and they, they everybody's saying the same thing. Whatever it's mm -hmm. in the script. It's all a script. Mm -hmm. And about the media, you said it was showing less casualties uh, of, of the Israel attack. You were showing less casualties. So why? Why less? Because usually they show more to create fear. So why in this case they're showing less casualties? It came that just to say that they are um, uh, this attack wasn't so big. Mm. In the media, they say it. it they were around two hundred missiles, from what I've read. Two hundred. Did all the two hundred missiles reached Israel? It looks. It's. Looks like some they were like uh, they turned. Mm -hmm. They weren't going directly. They were just um, to create some like a show of missiles, like a um, rain yeah. or something. Yeah. Show and then you know they were like just uh, the um, remote. They were like just. Uh, sent back or yeah. yeah so so why is the media showing less casualties to show that actually there are not so many um, uh, Oh, they show less less casualties to get the people's range and fears that uh, uh, like whatever happened in Lebanon is like one it's not eye for an eye just uh, 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 like there were so many uh, innocent uh, lives that were taken uh, but uh, Kind of um, just to keep this uh, this anger going. People, when they're angry, they kind of lose uh, control of. They want revenge, and. Um, mm -hmm. But wouldn't people have been even more angry if they were showing more casualties than in reality? as it usually happens. What do you perceive? Uh, it feels like if will be more casualties, then the people uh, uh, revenge will be like fulfilled. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So there would be a would people I don't know create a revolution. Revolution. No, people are a little bit too too weak to create a revolution, uh, too afraid or too. Okay. Yeah, they are just. Um, uh, it's more like it's more on the energetic. It's not like physical. They are not doing themselves, but this anger creates this energy. This uh, that they needed to uh, this they need to harvest this angry angry energy this which is uh, uh, fear uh, feels like a submissive energy but the anger it's a strong energy yes that it's stronger than the fear energy if it makes sense it makes sense now I'm wondering why do they want anger and not fear. Um, because it feels like it's stronger. Mm-hmm. It's like a volcano erupting. Instead of the fear, which is more, uh, it's like a dormant volcano kind of okay so why do they need these arhons these reptilians why do they need this strong emotion what for they want to uh, people are becoming more aware, more awakened, and they want to to send this strong, uh, uh, create this strong uh, uh, pulses of energy like these volcanoes, in order for the people not to wake up, just to stay in that either fear, anger, to keep them, you know, uh, kind of separated from connecting themselves to to be awake, to see what's going on. Uh, to see the truth, to see uh, f- the reality. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it feels like it's like their last resort uh, because humanity and people they've been bombarded constantly for so long with uh, all these uh, f- wars and pandemics and all that uh, was going on and um, people they are not they're not buying anymore into this matrix so the more from what I understood the more people um, are conscient the more are gaining in consciousness and informations the more aggressive it gets can we say that This anger is um, the awakened, the conscious people, the awakened ones, uh, they see what's going on. They, they they don't have this anger, but they are still using the anger from the the people that are not awakened yet. Yes. They still, they still feed on this anger. They still try to pop up the maximum uh, and this anger from these people, so they won't on be able to connect to themselves and to become aware and to awaken to what's going on so they have to keep them distracted and this anger yes. and this emotion and this uh, whatever you see in tv this cgi this 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 movie it's a movie mm-hmm. it's like going to a movie you watch a movie and you are just into that movie right you watch that you know the war and this you are you are into that movie you are not aware yes. that is a movie you 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 live in this mo- that movie yeah and speaking of movies mm-hmm. let let's go to the helicopter crash mm-hmm. where you mentioned that president raisi did not die no so 
was he aware of this? Did, did he know he was not going to die and it was just an illusion? Yes, he knew it. He knew. Um, uh, um, uh, he knew. Uh, part of him has had to agree with this. Uh, another part didn't want to. Uh, but. Uh, to to save his life, uh, this was the only uh, only choice to okay. leave the game. Mm -hmm. So where is he now? It came to Israel. It's weird. I don't know. I guess uh, maybe because. Uh, Nobody will think that he might be there, right? In the middle of all this so-called war, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what does he do? Mm, what does he do? He just... Uh, he's enjoying life now. So not... Yeah, like okay. Places, uh, it's it's like well situated someplace and on the mountains where nobody's looking there. Is he involved in any sort of project now? Mm. It looks like he might. Um, Participate, kind of undercover with uh, some of these uh, plans, whatever they are planning to do again, to continue or um, to come with ideas, to come with uh, based on his experience from when he was a president. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. You mentioned um, that everything is done now for people to lose hope. Will the people ever lose hope? What do you perceive? People will never lose hope. People, uh, as humans, we have that instinct of survival and whatever happens, we find our way uh, towards the surface. And doesn't matter how deep you are, you're always going to find uh, something to cling to, to give you hope. And what can people do in order to not give, let's say, this anger, this fear? What people have to do just to see their lives, connect to themselves, connect to the nature, and stop watching TV. And focus on their passion and what they want to do, what they want to manifest, and stop watching those movies and TV. I mean, the news and everything else. Uh, yeah. Good. It's... Uh, uh, it's like when you're watching a movie and you see the war there, like you see like the war movie, right? Yeah. And you believe the war is real, right? And when yeah. you cross the TV, the war doesn't exist. The war disappears. It's just, just so simple. So yeah. if they stop watching the news and feeding, because all this news is to feed people with the anger, with... Uh, fear, with worries, with uh, when they stop feeding those, they will be more connected themselves with their subliminal parts, and they they will they will see their lives as you know how they want to experiment, how they mm -hmm. uh, they will they will on, they won't be on that the movie anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like 
consciously or subconsciously when you see something uh, the mind believes the some the uh, subconscious believes that it's uh, it's real yeah so that's yeah. the screen like that disappears it's like a hologram right yes mm-hmm. got it very interesting very interesting um Yulia, is there something that you saw that you perceived and you didn't get to mention during this session? Uh, Or something you would like to add? I perceive that we are we're going the right path as humans, as humanity, and we just have to connect with ourselves and our, the nature and our families, and, and then everything will be fine. Very good. Perfect. Now, I will count from one to three, and at three, you will be totally present into your body. One, disconnect from everything and everyone and you are coming back totally into your body. Your space is clean and you are clean. Raise your frequencies to your optimum and maximum levels. Two, your body starts becoming lighter and stronger. You can move it with pleasure and ease. You feel very good. You feel better and better. You feel confident. You feel relaxed. You feel strong. And three, you can open your eyes. Welcome back. I feel like my eyes are glued. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you so much, Julia. Thank you. It was great. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for watching. We wish you a lovely day and evening and see you next time. Bye. Bye everyone. Buenos días. Dzień dobry. Bienvenidos a este primer video de disclosure en español y polaco. Bardzo was serdecznie witamy w na tym nowym wideo, które będzie w języku hiszpańskim i polskim na kanale Disclosures. Vamos a producir mucho más vídeos en futuro como estos vídeos informativos. W przyszłości stworzymy dużo więcej takich wideo, które będą Was informowa- informowały o różnych rzeczach. Porque estamos notando que cuanto más se va divulgando este trabajo, esta hipnosis por internet, también cuanto más mala información se está difundiendo. A to dlatego, że zauważyliśmy, że im więcej wstawiamy sesji z naszymi hipnozami, tym więcej jakby informacji sprzecznych zaczyna się rozprzestrzeniać. I entonces hoy vamos a hablar de las sesiones investigativas. Więc dzisiaj będziemy mówić o sesjach badawczych. Porque estoy viendo que hay personas que a lo mejor se dedican a una sesión con una persona, se van a algún lugar preguntan algo y lo poco de información que pueden extraer de una sesión se lo, se lo creen como si fuera oro, completamente puro oro. Pues zauważyłem, że są takie sesje i takie osoby, które robią jedną sesję z jedną osobą na dany temat i kiedy wychodzi tam jakaś informacja, to jest ona odbierana jakby to było rzeczywiście, jakby to było rzeczywiście coś niesamowicie wiarygodnego, jakby to było czyste złoto. Yo os digo que la sesión así dicha investigativa no existe. Ja chciałbym wam powiedzieć, że sesja badawcza tak naprawdę nie istnieje. Entonces podríais como preguntar, entonces cuando haces una sesión a un cliente y preguntas cosas, ¿por qué preguntas? Więc mógłbyś sobie, mógłbyś mi zadać pytanie, więc skoro robisz jakąś sesję z jakąś osobą i zadajesz jej pytania, to właściwie po co je w ogóle zadajesz? Sí, sabemos que la información en hipnosis está muy, pero de verdad muy contaminada. 
My bardzo dobrze wiemy, że informacja, która wychodzi podczas hipnozy jest niezwykle, ale to niezwykle zanieczyszczona. I esa información, así como sale de la hipnosis, no podemos tomarla como conocimiento, como investigación. Więc taka, taka, takiej informacji, która wychodzi podczas sesji hipnozy, nie bierzemy nigdy jako takiej informacji, która jest rzeczywiście zgodna, z, bardzo prawdziwa, zgodna z prawdą i oczywista. En el caso de sesión de esa clientes, la información que sacamos no sirve por otro objetivo. El objetivo es llegar a la causa de su problema y trabajar. Te informacje, które uzyskujemy podczas sesji dla klientów, służą nam zupełnie do czegoś innego. Celem jest to, żeby znaleźć przyczynę i pracować nad nią. Pero qué significa que la información está contaminada? ¿Cuánto está contaminada y por qué? Ale co to właściwie oznacza e, informacja zanieczyszczona? Kiedy jest zanieczyszczona i dlaczego jest zanieczyszczona? Hay que saber que cuando nosotros pedimos una información y nos llega, nos llega a través de una persona en hipnosis, esta información sale de una fuente, para así decirlo, y atraviesa muchas dimensiones, muchas densidades. Cuando prosimos a una información en la sesión, esta información powiedzmy to w ten sposób, pochodzi z jakiegoś źródła, ale w międzyczasie przechodzi przez wiele gęstości i wiele wymiarów. I también pasa por conciencias, por inteligencias. Esa información viene atrapada en el éter por varios seres. Ale ta informacja przechodzi przez, prze, też przez wiele umysłów, wiele świadomości. Jest bo, Istnieje w eterze i może być prze, przechwycona również przez wiele bytów. Estos seres, estas inteligencias, pueden voluntariamente o involuntariamente distorsionarla. Y te byty, te istoty lub świadomości mogą ją zniekształcić świadomie lub nieświadomie. Y además, la persona que está en hipnosis tiene sus creencias, su mentalidad, su perspectiva, su, sus opiniones. Esta estructura mental contamina también esta información. A co więcej, osoba, która jest w stanie hipnozy, ma swoje własne przekonania, swoje własne wartości i wierzenia, swoją własną mentalność i przez tą właśnie strukturę całą mentalną również może dojść do jeszcze kolejnego zanieczyszczenia. I además, si nosotros queremos investigar, por ejemplo, una persona o un ser que no tiene ninguna conexión con el ambiente hipnótico donde estamos trabajando, Esta persona puede no autorizar la salida de informaciones de, de sí mismo. A co więcej, jeśli połączymy się z jakąś istotą, która absolutnie nie należy do tego środowiska hipnotycznego, w którym pracujemy, taka istota może nie zgodzić się na przekazanie informacji. Si hay interacción, si hay interferencias entre un ser y otro, eh, es posible que circule información por las conexiones, por los pactos. Jeśli jest jakaś inter, interferencja między dwoma istotami, to wtedy dzięki tym paktom, albo przez te pakty, przez to połączenie, które istnieje, rzeczywiście wychodzą informacje. Pero si en, en aquella sesión en concreto, ese ser o esa persona se va a cuestionar y no hay ninguna conexión, es muy improbable que llegue una información autorizada. Ale jeśli zdarza się tak, że łączymy się z istotą, która nie ma z tym nic wspólnego, to jest bardzo mało prawdopodobne, że dostaniemy jakąś informację. Entonces, imaginemos que queremos investigar sobre un personaje famoso de la historia. No, na przykład wyobraźmy sobie, że chcielibyśmy otrzymać informację o jakiejś osobie niezwykle znanej, historycznej. Si no tenemos de alguna manera alguna conexión con los elementos del ambiente hipnótico y esta persona, aunque no esté conectada, no autoriza esta, esta información, pues no llega. Więc jeśli wyobrazimy sobie, że ta e, osoba nie jest w żaden sposób połączona z tym środowiskiem hipnotycznym, w którym pracujemy, może się tak zdarzyć, że absolutnie nie zezwoli na żadne przekazywanie e, informacji na swój temat. I kiedy pasa esto, hay siempre 
o casi siempre alguna entidad que se aprovecha de la situación. I kiedy to się dzieje, zazwyczaj pojawia się jakiś byt, który wykorzystuje tę sytuację. Se puede presentar con la mm, supuesta identidad de la persona o de ser que estamos buscando o puede de todas formas modificar o inventar una información por su cuenta, por su personal ventaja. Może zrobić dwie rzeczy. Albo przyjąć, zidentyfikować się z osobą, o której chcemy zrobić tę sesję, przyjąć jej tożsamość, albo z, zmienić informacje, które, powinny, które chcielibyśmy otrzymać, tak aby to działało na jej korzyść. Nosotros en sesión a clientes podemos trabajar porque el cliente nos autoriza a trabajar en él en su sesión. Podczas sesji dla klientów możemy pracować nad, nad takimi informacjami, bo wtedy bo otrzymujemy zgodę na informacje właśnie dzięki temu klientowi. I możemy pracować z sus seres queridos, por ejemplo, o con los seres que interfieren con ella, propio porque hay estas conexiones. I możemy pracować na przykład z istotami, które kocha ta dana osoba, lub z bytami, które w nią ingerują, właśnie przez to, przez to połączenie, które tam istnieje. Entonces, hay una gran diferencia entre la sesión a un cliente para solucionar sus problemas y hacer sesiones para investigar. Dlatego istnieje tak, tak, taka duża różnica między sesjami, które robimy dla klientów, aby rozwiązać ich problemy, i między sesjami takimi poszukiwawczymi. Por eso, por eso digo que no existe una sesión investigativa. I dlatego właśnie wam mówię, że nie istnieje coś takiego jak sesja badawcza. Lo que existe es un protocolo de sesiones de investigación. To co istnieje, to pewien protokół sesji badawczych. Hay que seguir un protocolo y hay que seguir ejecutar una serie de sesiones y con personas diferentes. Więc trzeba zawsze śledzić ten sam protokół, a jednocześnie wykonać wiele sesji z różnymi osobami. El protocolo tiene que ser único, unívoco, porque hay que preguntar en un tema las mismas preguntas para ir en la misma dirección. Ten protocolo powinien być zawsze taki sam, ponieważ należy zadawać takie same pytania, tak aby iść zawsze w tym samym kierunku. Cuanto más está restringido este espacio de investigación, cuanto más podemos tener eh, más probabilidad de tener buena información. Im bardziej zawężamy obszar naszych poszukiwań, tym bardziej prawdopodobne będzie, że otrzymamy dobre informacje. Sí, podemos también eh, aumentar este espacio, pero tenemos que aumentar proporcionalmente el número de sesiones por hacer. Możemy oczywiście rozszerzyć ten obszar, ale wtedy będziemy zmuszeni również rozszerzyć ilość tych sesji. Luego, cuando tenemos una grande serie de sesiones pero estamos hablando de centenas o de hasta de millares de sesiones. Y wtedy mówimy o olbrzymiej liczbie sesji, od setki po, po tysiące. Tenemos que recoger toda aquella información que es común a todas o a casi todas estas sesiones hechas. I wtedy musimy pozbierać te informacje, które są wspólne dla wszystkich bądź prawie wszystkich tych sesji. Esta información común os va a saber que es un porcentaje muy pequeño con respecto a la totalidad de la información. I zobaczycie, że ta informacja wspólna będzie naprawdę niewielkim odsetkiem tych informacji, które się tam pojawią. Są pepitas de oro. To są takie malutkie ziarenka. Es como si nosotros vamos a un río, vamos a coger este filtro, vamos a coger muchísima arena para recoger solo muy pocas pepitillas de oro. Y można to przyrównać do poszukiwania złota, kiedy filtruje się dno rzeki, zbiera się mnóstwo piasku, a na koniec pojawiają się maleńkie ziarenka złota. Es así que es información de oro. Y to jest właśnie ta informacja złota. Si hoy podemos decir que hay seres que interfieren bastante con el ser humano y que tienen formas de animales reptiles o de animales a forma de insectos, etc., es porque todo esto sale desde que se empezaron las sesiones de hipnosis y hay muchísimas, millares y millares con esta 
información común. Y jeśli dzisiaj możemy powiedzieć, że są ingerencje, które przybierają formy albo reptilii, albo jakichś insektów, to dlatego, że takie informacje wychodzą od początku naszych sesji hipnotycznych i są wspólne i jest ich tysiące. Pero si yo digo que la ciudad de Nueva York, que en el 1452, en exacto en aquel punto, había eh, una casa que vivía un viejo, un viejo que se llamaba Tom, pues solo en aquella sesión ha salido y cuanto más contaminada puede ser, no lo va a saber nadie. Ale jeśli chciałbym powiedzieć, um, przekazać taką informację, że w Nowym Jorku w 1452 roku stał taki a taki dom, w którym mieszkał taki a taki starszy pan o imieniu Tom, to nie mam pojęcia, jak bardzo zanieczyszczona będzie ta informacja. A si entonces se hace investigación. Es un trabajo muy largo, muy duro <coughs> y tiene que ser hecho um, con un protocolo riguroso y severo. A więc właśnie w taki sposób należy robić sesję badawcze. Jest to proces bardzo długi, ciężki i który wymaga bardzo restrykcyjnego protokołu. I to jest po prostu, że nosotros ya vamos a empezar a hacer ciclos de investigación. I właśnie dlatego zaczniemy teraz robić takie cykle badawcze. La estructura del team que cada vez va creciendo eh, siempre más y el número de clientes que cada día mmm, no, contactan con nosotros nos permiten organizar estos ciclos de investigación. I ponieważ struktura naszego zespołu cały czas się powiększa, a także liczba klientów, którzy, którzy kontaktują się z nami każdego dnia, te dwa te czynniki pozwalają nam na to, żebyśmy zrobili taki cykl badawczy. Creo que ya he dicho todo, o casi todo. Eh, cualquier pregunta podéis escribirla en los comentarios del vídeo o donde sea publicado el vídeo. Myślę, że powiedziałem wszystko, bądź prawie wszystko, a jeśli macie jakieś pytania, to proszę, zadajcie je pod tym wideo. Gracias por vuestra atención. Dziękujemy za Waszą uwagę. I gracias a ti, Milena. Gracias a ti, Kalo. Dziękujemy. Ciao. Ciao.